one of the largest assets on the base blockchain, the DGEN token, got hammered massively in the last few weeks. Now we see a bit of a retracement now, we do see a bit of a recovery. How sustainable is that recovery? Who's buying here? Who's selling here? Let's have a look at the data most people are not considering. Now here we are at 3 cents, up 28% today alone. But this week we are down by 25%. Since listing on CoinMarketCap we almost doubled. It's a true roller coaster ride, first a 4x, then a destruction of all of those profits, now again almost a doubling. How much farther can we go? Now I talked about the DGEN token roughly three weeks ago on this channel. And at that time we were still at one cent. So if you want to be early next time, maybe consider following channels like this. I publish videos regularly and I try to be early. Now another video followed, again that video outperformed a regular video. The average video here is in grey, the second DGEN video is indicated. By this blue line. And so here's what's so pretty about the DGEN token. The DGEN token is pretty much entirely traded on decentralized exchanges. That means we can look at the data on the blockchain. We can see who's buying, who's selling, is it the whales that are currently moving the price, is this retail that's buying in, what's actually happening behind the scenes. So have a look at this. Most trading still happens on Uniswap, a decentralized exchange. And the DGEN token, just in terms of liquidity, is the third largest token on the entire base blockchain. It's the largest meme coin on the blockchain. Above, we've only got virtual protocol and of course, the Aero token by Aerodrome, which is the largest decentralized exchange native to base. Now have a look at this here. This is not the base chain, this is the DGEN chain. So on the base chain we roughly had half a billion of trading volume in the last 24 hours. On the DGEN chain we had 1% of that roughly. So DGEN is not just a random meme coin, DGEN has its own blockchain that's very very unique. The tokens on that blockchain also performed relatively well in the last 24 hours. The only issue is that every single token here is paired directly with wrapped DGEN. In other words, when you are using this chain there is no way to secure your profits by moving into wrapped ethereum or by moving into a stable coin there's only the degen token you're only trying to get more degen tokens by trading on the degen chain the second issue with using that degen chain is that once you bridge over your degen tokens in order to then trade over there you've got a lockup of at least seven days so once you want to bridge out again you have to wait seven days in order to get your money back in order to get your degen token back on the base chain and in theory that should have been healthy for the price at launch of the chain because then at least for the first seven days the tokens get locked up in the chain but unfortunately during that initial period during the seven days the DGEN token didn't do too well. Now how about the current usage of that chain? Could there potentially be enough interest that more tokens over time get locked up in the chain that then in turn pushes up the price, right? When the supply isn't floating but it's locked somewhere, then the price of DGEN relative to the US dollar or relative to rep Ethereum should be going up. Less supply, same demand would mean a rising price. Now have a look at this. This is the total value locked on the DGEN chain over time. So we had a lot of interest initially, it went up all the way to 10 million, but now it's simply just decaying away. Unfortunately, we are now only at 3.4 million. Have a look at the bridged DGEN tokens on the chain. Initially, of course, a lot of inflow, but now since the 4th of April, we see outflows out of the chain. And all of those outflows are likely after the unbridging, also hitting the liquidity pools on the base chain, meaning a depressing price. And so what's happening here? Why is the DGEN token suddenly recovering by so much in a single day? Who's buying here? To answer that question, I have built a tool that distinguishes the retail investors from the whale investors. On the left side, we've got the number of wallets that hold at least $1,000 worth of the DGEN token at the current price. So that's 32,000 tokens. That's what I'd consider retail. In the middle, we've got medium-sized retail. So that's now $10,000 worth of the token minimum holding. On the right side, we've got the whales. That's at least $100,000 worth of the token in the wallet. This is the last month of history. And we're seeing that whales are not necessarily accumulating anymore. They're rather sold off or let's say the number of whales decreased by 10%. The number of medium-sized retail holders is increasing even though there is some volatility here probably the crash here is due to bridging over to the DGEN chain. So first there was the bridging now there's the claiming back 
And on the left side, we've got retail. The number of retail investors pretty much doubled in the last month. So really what we've got over here is a retail driven rally. It's the Joe Schmoes of this world that push up the price that also create this recovery rally, despite the chain itself not being used. And to a degree, there is a justification for buying the DGEN token now. Because for active speculation, we always look at the current momentum. What chain currently sees most capital inflows? And again, when we look at DeFi Llama and we look at the change in the last month, the capital that's locked up in base more than doubled. The capital that's locked up in Blast also increased quite a bit, 40%. But all the other chains, they lost capital in the last month. And so buying things like Aerodrome, buying things like Degen, buying the safe asset, the large assets on base makes a lot of sense if base is the only place where everybody is now still depositing money into. So yes, I do believe that the Degen token can outperform Ethereum. I do believe that tokens like Aero can outperform Ethereum. That being said, there can be some risk with Ethereum itself. The US dollar valuation of Ethereum might be going down. I actually believe this is the most likely scenario because the people that simply want to allocate to crypto, they buy Bitcoin. The people that want to outperform, they buy risky meme coins. And Ethereum is pretty much stuck in the middle, right? There's not a lot of upside potential, but there is still a lot of room to bleed. And so what I believe is the best move here is to bet on the Ethereum valuation of various tokens on the base chain to go up. So in other words, you want to be shorting ethereum you want to be betting on a falling ethereum price to the same degree you're betting on rising altcoin prices on base in other words you want to make money when the base tokens outperform eve but you don't want to necessarily bet on the us dollar valuations so you need to have a bit of DeFi trickery here right you need to have a loan in ethereum for example and then use that borrowed ethereum to swap it into various tokens on the base blockchain now i've made a video on how to execute on that strategy it's over here it's in premium it's titled hedging macro risk and it simply goes through the process right how do you deposit collateral on a borrowing and lending platform like Aave how do you then borrow against that collateral for example Ethereum how do you then swap this over to a token you're bullish on let's say the Degen token and how do you then make money from the Ethereum valuation of those altcoins going up not the US dollar valuation because again Ethereum might be coming down from here I think it makes a lot of sense to hedge your against the general crypto market now and to lock in some profit and to not just be plus minus zero when there's a lot of new investors getting into degen or into Aero or into various other coins but still not make money because ethereum is collapsing protect yourself against that potential risk at least that's what i'm personally doing if it's your first time here feel free to subscribe i publish videos regularly a like what we very much appreciate as well it helps the channel grow there's also free telegram link is down below